this is going to be a Okay, this is going to do another verse video on Avengers Endgame vs. Spider-Man Far From Home. Two of the of the last two films of Phase 3 and yeah. So, so which one has a superior, is superior? Are about to find out? Let the battle begin. Let's start with the story for Spider- for Avengers Endgame. Now, the story for Avengers Endgame taking place after Infinity War, uh, the Avengers and and a few of the Guardians must team up so to bring back the Fallen by going back time travel and next stealing of the stones and next yeah snapping their fingers and bring back bring back everyone else who was snapped away. So for for Spider-Man Far From Home is taking place out taking place after Endgame. Peter is pretty much dealing with the, the death of Stark and and yeah going on another high school trip to Europe. So that's pretty much the the stories for both these films. So. So if you're thinking that Endgame would actually be better, now now let's talk about them and how Endgame about this is time travel. Now there's actually an issue I have with time travel in this film. The fact that there's even one scene, yeah, there's actually some parts that didn't make sense. Well, like the fact, like the fact that them, uh, there's even one scene in 2012 where they decide to go there to the past. To the past, and next time we see, and next Yama Loki goes goes into the. So like I don't even know what happens. Yeah, I don't even know where Loki is, and it's very much there just to set up the new show Loki. And yeah, that that part was completely pointless. I mean, that's just there to just pad out the movie more. That's pretty much the biggest issue I have with the time travel in this film. And yeah, some part. Yeah, I will actually pay attention to the ancient one, the the conversation between this man and the ancient one. Yeah. And overall, uh, yeah, this, the time travel and game is pretty much uh, flawed. So yeah, the one that the one that flows better is is Spider-Man: Far From Home, and the one with the spear story is Endgame. Now let's talk about our characters. Now in Avengers Endgame, our char our characters are now had to deal in the place that they've never been before. I'm uh, dealing with loss. The fact that they the fact that they didn't um, uh, defeat Thanos and and yeah, they didn't bring back the fall and they're there before so so yeah most other movies you see heroes win this time uh, we see them lose for the first time and this is actually kind of cool kind of decent kind of nice move that for the story because most of uh, superhero films yeah most of the heroes actually win and this is actually a nice refreshing change also i do like them i do like the fact that uh that most heroes i did not like actually or worked out really well like nebula nebula was a character i didn't particularly like and the fact that I remember she was great in Infinity War and Endgame makes me think that I'm really excited for the for the third Guardians film. And I do I do like War Machine's nice lines because especially the word cheese was yeah. That's pretty much what her his funniest joke in the full film. And we got Professor Hulk. And I pretty much I thought he was okay. Uh it's not the biggest issue. Uh pretty much yeah Yeah, I thought that my Hulk would have a big comeback at Thanos after after that bad attempt in the, in the last film. In this film, he doesn't go back to Thanos. As only... Yeah, he doesn't even um, kill Thanos in the end, which is sort of disappointing. So let's talk, let's talk about them with the Fat Thor jokes. Uh, and Fat Thor was hilarious. He was... He was on... Uh, he was the comic relief of the film, and... And surprisingly, they did get a job for it, but my only issue is that... Yeah, it still goes out the entire film. I mean, we've seen too much of my action scenes and heartburn moments, but Thor is just pretty much just there just for laughs. I mean, that's pretty much like this, like some jokes in Ant-Man and the Wasp, where they throw in a serious moment and they just cop it out with a dumb joke. Now, I'm not um, saying that Marvel does bad jokes or anything. I'm just saying that, yeah, that's pretty much my biggest issue with them with the fat jokes in it. The jokes in Endgame. I do like the America's ass joke. I do like the title scene joke. I do like uh, some jokes in this film. Oh yeah, overall, this film does a great job in jokes, and and now it's a good thing that they didn't um, um, did too much on the Bruce Banner and Natasha relationship. I mean, in Age of Ultron, just came out of nowhere, and it's a good thing they just left out to the side and put it in the back seat. And and I must answer the question: Does Captain Marvel is better here than she was in the last film? Yes, she was better in this film, but but there but she's not the greatest hero in this film. Uh, everyone else just feel better than her. Even Rocket, them uh, surprisingly, is way better than her. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, and that haircut was just abysmal. So now let's talk about the heroes and talk about Spider-Man and Spider-Man Far From Home. 
Now, now homecoming on top of it, and I actually like him there, but yeah, I prefer him here than he was there in homecoming. I just love Spider Man in this film. I mean, he, I mean, it's his character throughout the first three Spider Man films and, the, and a few parts in the Amazing Spider Man. I just like a Spider Man here. So, the two films, which one I prefer the heroes in? Well, I surprisingly think that Endgame is way better in terms of heroes. Because <laughs> Far From Home does a really good job in the heroes, but. But yeah. But yeah, there's pretty much only two heroes in this film, that being Spider Man Nick Fury, which is also a little bit of a bad thing. Now let's talk about our side, our side heroes. Now we got, uh, now we got few of the Guardians joining in, and and we got Peter's classmates, and we got Peter's classmates. Now let's talk about their Endgame. Now, now the Guardians in Endgame were actually pretty good. Now, not granted, they're not as good as they were in Infinity War or anything, but I thought they were actually pretty good. Uh, I didn't. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I wonder what happened to Gamora at the end of this film. I mean, um, I mean, I mean, I think the the plot for the third Guardian film is the one that they're searching for Gamora. I mean, at the end of the film, Storo is pretty much him out looking at the screen on where is Gamora. And yet, she was in this film, but yeah, not too much. Now let's talk about Rocket and Nebula. They're great here. I love these two heroes in this film. Now, I prefer Rocket in this film than Nebula, but overall, they're, they're, their acting is really good. I think their acting is... I think Kevin Nebula's act... That actress who plays Nebula is way better than her playing um, uh, Ruby Roundhouse there in Jumanji 2 and 3. Now let's, talk, now let's talk about their Spider-Man Far From Home. Now Far From Home do, does some good things. It uh, has a... Uh, now we got Ned, Betty, and, M and MJ. Now to be honest, yeah, I thought them... Um, I thought them on um, the subplot with uh, Ned and, and Betty was okay. I mean, they're not the best part of this film, but... Uh, but, but that's a good job that they did to this film. Now, MJ is pretty much um, the only character, only side character I just didn't like in this film. I mean, she's just so awkward. I mean, watch the scene there in the opera. She's that awkward. And, yeah, Happy is pretty much okay in this film. He doesn't do that too much. And Nick Fury is pretty much decent. It's a decent character. And I had to say, I think the joke with them, uh, when Nick Fury is there in some Pierce room in the hotel and next. And it's, yeah, people are pretty much asking, asking people like, um, Peter, what's like, what's up, like, things like that. Yeah, I think that joke went on for way too long. So, the two movies, yeah, for the side characters, they're in Endgame. Now, let's talk about the action. Now, this pretty much is the best action part of this film. I mean, this, uh, this video. I will just love the action in both these films. They're well choreographed, they're well put together, and, and yeah, the lo I love them, how the heroes fight, too. In Far From Home, we got them as three action scenes. We got the water monster, the fire monster, and the final battle. Now, now to be honest, I thought the fire monster battle was pretty meh. And the water battle was pretty much good. And I loved the action scene at the end. It was well choreographed, perfectly put together. And yeah, even the hologram scene was perfect too with Mysterio. I'll, yes, I'll talk about him later. Now let's talk about Endgame. Now, there's, there's some less action in this film. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There's pretty much more action in this film than than there's in Far From Home. But yeah, there's there's less action in this film than the rest of the Russo Brothers films. <laughs> Although I do like the Cap versus Cap fight there in 2012, and and I do like some action scenes in this film. But yeah, overall the action in this film is pretty really great. <laughs> Even that final battle, trust me. When Captain America just hold that I'm a hammer, I meant Mjolnir. It just took everyone by surprise. And then when all the heroes come back. <laughs> Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, uh, etc. That's where everyone was yelling, "Yeah, they're back!" Yeah, everyone's pretty much going insane in that scene. So yeah, overall, the best action goes to Endgame. Let's go on to the villains. Now for the villains, we got Thanos and Mysterio. Now Thanos, um, isn't in this film that much. Uh, he's pretty much in the beginning of this film and the middle of this film and most of the at, at the end battle. Now, I think the killing Thanos in the first half of the film was a little bit too early, and and I do like the scenes in 2014 where we see Thanos there, and and his children. Yeah, I love that. I love the scenes, and of course him being powerful in the final battle, and it's pretty much satisfying when Stark and Banner pretty much snap their fingers and just uh, all Thanos army just vanish. And next, yeah, all the heroes that 
everyone from from the world came, come back came back yeah now let's talk about their mysterio and Spider-Man far from home now mysterio is pretty much a um portrayed as the good guy in his own trailers i thought this one was okay i mean i mean it's I mean, it's nice. I'm a, they're not, they have a good job in fooling everyone else. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, uh, for Marvel fans, yeah, pretty much everyone is not fooled because everyone pretty much knows that Mysterio is a villain. So, yeah, that's pretty much not why people consider this downright stupid. So, anyways, yeah, I'll, the superior villain there is goes to Endgame. But, the, but yeah, the one that's a better job in fooling everyone else is Mysterio. Now let's talk about the comedy for both these films. Now the comedy for Avengers just Endgame game is is great. Though it's worse than the comedy in Infinity War, it's better than the comedy there in Ant-Man and the Wasp and Thor Rat and Thor the Two The Dark World. And yeah, I love the comedy in Endgame. So many great film great moments, yeah. Now let's talk about the uh, the comedy there in Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, some jokes worked, some didn't. Yeah, I think the cringiest joke has to be the naked scene. Yeah, that joke was just was just well, was just played out annoying and cringy and just yeah even cringy like the scene in smooth jazz and bikini bottom spongebob so yeah you pretty much know which one's the winner is endgame yeah now now since i'm done talking about them on this one now let's go into conclusion for this video i love them on both these films they're two they're two of my favorite films in mcu and they're both my top 10 so let's now start with the score. The score for Far From Home gets a 10 out of 10. I meant 9 out of 10, yeah. While Endgame gets a very high 10. Yes, the best film in MCU got the perfect place. Now let's talk about the early um, films in the MCU. Now let's talk about the first Iron Man film. Now, Iron Man 1 is a great film. I love the film. It's my favorite Phase 1 film, even better than the Avengers 1. Yeah, it's the best origin film in the MCU, and yeah, don't have nothing to say, but yeah, even the villain must be pretty much decent, and t and it's nice to see Tony Stark become Iron Man. Haven't seen Incredible Hulk, haven't seen too much of Iron Man 2, now let's talk about Captain America the First Avenger. Now, Captain America First Avengers is a great film, not my top 10, but it's still an awesome film that shows the great origin of Steve Rogers. Originally, I thought it was just a bland film, overall it's a great film. Thor 1 is pretty much decent, and the Avengers 1 is pretty much one of the best films ever. Now, Phase 2, um, I love. Um, uh, Iron Man 3 is pretty much okay. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is pretty much my favorite film in Phase 2. Uh, Winter Soldier is awesome. I love the action in this film. And the villain, Alexander Pierce, is pretty much one of my favorite villains overall in this film. In the film. And Bucky is pretty much an excellent hero in this one. And, and yeah, I was actually satisfied when uh, the heroes all came back in Avengers Endgame. Even I love that scene where Spider-Man just swings out of nowhere and just, just and we just see his face there in Endgame. I love that scene. And and yeah, now let's talk about and I've heard one so it's great. I mean decent, yeah. Uh Age of Ultron was okay. Uh Okay, yeah, and Thor the Dark World's pretty much the worst film in the MCU. I just did not like that film at all. And if he's three we begin with Civil War, and that was a great film. Uh Spider-Man Homecoming was okay. I didn't care too much about that film. To be honest, Doctor Strange was good, and yeah, and yeah, I love, um, we got Ant-Man and the Wasp was pretty, de was pretty decent, and and Infinity War is great, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel was much my second least favorite film in MCU, and yeah, we got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which I covered, so yeah, so yeah, um, uh, thanks for watching guys for this video, and, they, and just support the channel, and goodbye.